they had something called the American Classics Theater on CBS. And Markel was running it, and he called me. And he said, we want to do um, three-hour shows, and a whole series of them. It was all in Publishers Weekly. And, and um, what we want to do is Big Blonde. And I said, it's not a novel. It's a short story. And he said, oh. I said, it's a long short story, but it's no three hours. And uh, so, but I said, there's a marvelous uh, interview with this in, in the Paris Review that we could use as a framework, and I've always wanted to dramatize it, and a couple of other things, poems, uh, shorter stories. You mean and, an, inter an interview with Dorothy Parker? Yeah. Who wrote Big Blonde? Yeah. I'm a, I'm, she's a writer that, she got blacklisted and never was dramatized when Gerald was, Hemingway was, West was, all of them, but never her. And it made me so mad. So anyway, so CBS canceled the whole series because they put on Thomas Wolfe to start out with, and that ended it right there. It was one, dear Ian, a great friend of mine wrote it, but you can't do much with Thomas Wolfe. Ian McClellan Hunter? Yeah. And, um, and so then I just got it back. I got a turnaround and agreement that, uh, that I'd pay whatever anybody paid me to get it back. And I sold it to Jack Venza and a wonderful producer called Anne Blumenthal got Big Blonde on. She never got the rest on because their Exxon or somebody left. You know, we all, the money troubles are everywhere. But Big Blonde was a terrific show, and they cast uh, Sally Kellerman played Big Blonde. She did it well. She wasn't my idea of a zoftic woman who's in terrible trouble because, but she did a good sport thing that was marvelous, and we all had to rush out to Chicago to meet her, and she never read the story. Oh, God, and Kirk Browning directed it, and it was very good. They shot it in Philadelphia. And uh, John Lithgow played the lead heel, and he was wonderful. Rosetta Lenoir was in it. Peg Murray was in it. It was just fabulous cast. And um, it went well, and there was a lot of publicity, really a lot. And so I was very proud of it. What was it about that show, about that story, and about Dorothy Parker that appealed to you? Well, it was about a woman who was an object and was a good sport and, you know, she didn't know what to do but go out and then you, you went out with the boys and then what you do, you know, and she was a model who was losing her figure and all that. And it's just one of the great classic stories. And the fact that it's never been done, the rich boy has been done by Fitzgerald and that hasn't been done. And so that excited me. And the fact that the, her role was such that she was just so hopeless. She wanted to have a wonderful domestic life that she was good at for about six months. And then the heel, as heels do, got bored and left. Only it was John Lithgow, so he was brilliant. <laughs>